Hi everyone, this is Salvatore Pabonis, and this short video will just introduce the tutorial team presentation, the tutorial team project that we'll be doing in tutorial on week five. That's the week of April 9th, just after we return from the uh, Easter break. The materials for the tutorial team project will soon be posted in the Blackboard site, and you'll find them in the assessment area in a spot called Tutorial Team Project. That's not yet visible, but probably by the time you see this video, uh, it will be visible. Now, the Team Project is going to be done in Tutorial, so you don't have to meet outside Tutorial to do a lot of work around it. Uh, you can do it in Tutorial, but you will have to do some before Tutorial homework to make sure you're ready to do the project. In particular, I'd like you to read this article. Uh, now, this article is just a background document on the Rohingya crisis, the refugee crisis that's currently going on uh, in Myanmar. Now, as you'll learn from this week's uh, lecture slides, the Rohingya situation is compounded by the problem of statelessness. Uh, Myanmar, the country, does not recognize the citizenship of its Rohingya uh, residents. And most of us would say citizens, uh, although the Myanmar government insists that they are not citizens of Myanmar. So they've turned them into stateless people, people who are not acknowledged as the citizens of any country, though all the evidence is they've lived in Myanmar for generations, and by all accounts the world pretty much agrees that they should be considered citizens of Myanmar. Now, this backgrounder is from the Council on Foreign Relations. The Council on Foreign Relations is the peak foreign affairs body, uh, non-governmental organization in the United States. Uh, it's based in New York City. It's a highly reputable organization that publishes foreign affairs magazine. They publish regular backgrounders, and a backgrounder is just what it sounds like. It's a document that provides a, an overall background on a subject, and this one is a very recent backgrounder dated February 9th, 2018, on the Rohingya crisis. And I'd like you to read this through in full. It gives you the full background of the Rohingya, where they have been uh, fleeing to, mainly Bangladesh by land or Southeast Asia by sea, their legal status in Myanmar and in other countries, why they're fleeing, uh, you know, what's caused the exodus, etc. This will, oh, and in particular, where are they going? <laughs> this is what's really relevant for our project. Uh, you'll want to read all about where they're going, in particular Bangladesh, but also Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, uh, and other places. Okay. Uh, after, you, after you've read that document, you'll be ready to come into tutorial to do the activity. Okay. So in tutorial, or I guess better if you look at it before you go to tutorial, I'll ask you to look at these series of graphs. And this series of, of graphs and tables you can also get from the Al Jazeera website. Al Jazeera, I've mentioned before, it is uh, a quasi-state broadcaster, not exactly owned by the Qatar government, but owned by the Qatar royal family, so closely, so closely associated with the state of Qatar. And, uh, but it's a generally considered a reputable news source, especially Al Jazeera English. There are many debates about the reputability of Al Jazeera Arabic, uh, but Al Jazeera English is generally well respected. And having gone through this site myself, I can say there's nothing in this site that to me appears suspect in any way. Okay, so I got the charts from this site, and there are some other charts as well in this site that I've not copied in. I've asked you to look at this first chart about the trajectory of Rohingya refugees, and as you'll see from the chart, uh, there was a slow exodus of Rohingya from Myanmar, and the Rohingya refugee crisis was a regular appearance, it made regular appearances in the world's news, uh, but was kind of a low-level, bubbling-along crisis until August 2017. Last August, there was a very serious uh, military uh, intervention where uh, Myanmar sent its military into Rakhine State, the state of Myanmar where most Rohingya live, uh, burned houses, uh, rounded people up, um, it, you know, committed all sorts of human rights atrocities. You'll read about it in the backgrounder, but as you'll see, there was a sudden mass exodus from Myanmar, many of them going to Bangladesh, and you see the number in Bangladesh rising dramatically, and this has happened really in the last six months. Okay. You can also see from Al Jazeera where they have gone. 
uh, the biggest number to neighboring Bangladesh, but also to uh, around the world, and a large number to Malaysia, uh, which is a bit farther south. It doesn't actually border uh, Myanmar, but uh, you can reach it by sea. You'll also see a, an ethnic breakdown of uh, Myanmar, and you'll see that the Rohingya are very heavily concentrated in one particular spot in Myanmar. Okay. With that as background, I ask you to do a series of activities that use the CIA World Factbook. And I even provide the links directly into the World Factbook. And the first thing I should have you know is that the country that the rest of the world calls Myanmar is still called by its old name Burma in the United States. And so the CIA World Factbook uses the name Burma for Myanmar. But when you click through to this site, you can get data on uh, percent Muslim population for Burma, Myanmar, uh, and for any other country in the world. And I've asked you to look up some data on uh, percent Muslim and uh, the majority religion in a set of particular countries. Then I've asked you also to look up data on GDP per capita, GDP growth rate uh, for particular countries. And then as a team, I ask you to analyze patterns of Rohingya refugee flows, you know, where people are going from Myanmar uh, you know, to the rest of the world, where Rohingya are fleeing to. And I'd like you to analyze those patterns as a group. So those first two assignments, just getting the data in from the CIA World Factbook, that should take your team probably you know, 10 or 15 minutes. It shouldn't take very long, uh, maybe even less than that, because I've provided the links directly to the sites. And I'd just like you to get practice you know, pulling data from one source into your uh, tutorial discussions. But then the real focus of the tutorial is this assignment three and four, where I'd like you to uh, make some group judgments about the patterns you see uh, in assignment three. And then in assignment four, even more so, like even farther afield, I'd like you to form a group judgment about what we should do about refugee flows. Because I'd like you guys to have a serious group discussion around this and come up with an answer for this particular crisis. Now, I'm not talking about refugee flows in general. Uh, you know, I think it's really important to focus on particular examples. So what should the world do in this situation? And then maybe you can generalize from that to a broader view of you know, how you think refugee uh, crises should be handled. All of that should be self-contained within the tutorial. It shouldn't take you more than about 50 minutes to do the whole project, except that before you go to the tutorial, you should definitely have read the backgrounder for yourself. And I'll send out an email reminder to you uh, over the holidays to read the backgrounder. Thanks, I hope all that makes sense, and I hope you enjoy the activity.